Hey, Trip Kramer here from tripadvice.com talking about texting women and the five rules that go along with it. So I want you to pay attention. I know I recently put out a video called Why You Shouldn't Be Texting Girls. And don't worry, this video completely complements that and goes along with everything that I said in that video, nothing contradictory. So really texting is gonna be used for very specific ways and also in terms of when you're texting, there's specific rules in terms of how you're gonna do that. So we're gonna be going over all that on today's video. Texting is really important to learn right now just because you are probably doing it a lot with women. I mean, this is one of the major ways of communicating. So if you learn how to do it properly, you have a higher chance of being able to get women interested in you and actually get to the point where you're meeting up with them and on a date, of course, when that is possible. All right, so you wanna learn it and you wanna make sure that it's something that you're good at. So again, you have chances of of being able to meet up the women that you like. If you don't know what you're doing, and a lot of my coaching clients don't when they first sign up with me, then you have a really high chance of scaring them away because a lot of guys are very needy over text and they don't know what to text and how to use it. So what happens is they have a chance with the girl and they completely screw it up, which I don't want that for you. So let's go into rule number one. Do not wait for her to text you when you initially get her number. I know that this is something that a lot of my clients have struggled with. They get girls' numbers, or maybe they get it off of a dating app, or they get it in person, wherever, and they are waiting for the girl to text them first. Here's the thing, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, it's not going to happen. If it does, great, you know, you know that she's definitely interested and you can go from there and follow the rest of the rules, which I'll be going over, but make sure that you're the one who's initiating it, okay? I call this dominance, or leading the interaction, which I go over in my Hooked program a bunch, which is you taking control of what's going on with the relationship, so to speak, and moving it forward. So you're the one who's in control. So you need to be the one to text her first. Do not wait for her to do that, especially when it's you getting her number and this is the initial text. You have to be the one to do it first. Okay, next. Number two, which is really the number one rule, but there's no specific order to these five rules. But this is just one of the most important ones. And I've been saying it for years and there's, I can't repeat myself enough with this, is you only use text messaging to ask her out, okay? Now, yes, once in a while, you know, you might be texting with a girl on a dating app, but that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm not talking about texting on a dating app. That's different. A dating app texting, that's you guys, actually getting to know each other. That's almost equivalent to the initial interaction as if you were going over and approaching her somewhere. So what I'm talking about is texting her when you guys are actually you know, texting each other because you got her number. You gotta make sure that you're using texting to meet up. So you're not sitting here having long conversations. Instead, you are asking them out, asking for a time to meet, asking them for a drink or for coffee or to do something. You cannot sit there all day texting them, which brings me to number three. Don't sit there texting them, trying to get to know them. This is such a big mistake, is that guys will use texting to get to know them. Again, we're not talking about online dating texting, we're talking about once you have her actual phone number and you guys are texting with each other. The thing is, is when you're texting and you're trying to get to know them, there's so much room for error. This is why texting sucks, okay? Because there's so much room for error. Yeah, people sometimes use emojis and things like that to offset maybe joking or whatever they're saying, but still, when you're sitting there texting all day, you know what that says? That says to the girl, I'm not busy, I have no life, I'm just gonna sit here and text you all day, right? So you don't wanna do that. You only wanna save texting for, like I said, number two, asking them out. A lot of guys try to build attraction over text, and that just doesn't work because attraction isn't built over text. We are wired biologically to feel attracted to someone when we're in front of them, when we're experiencing them in person and in, you know, real life, IRL here, okay? This is not about trying to get to know her and do anything like teasing or, or any kind of demonstrations of value or anything like that over text message. Can it work? Yes, it can, but it's not the road you wanna go down. If anything, hopefully they've already been interested in you, so asking them out shouldn't be a problem. Again, rule number two, right? Asking them out shouldn't be a problem, so then you can meet up with them, and then you can build attraction and investment when you're with them in person. Here's another one, and I recently told a coaching client this, is 
do not, do not be sending too many emojis, okay? I know, and it's interesting, I heard a recent comment in, in a recent video that said like, uh, what are these games? I should be able to use emojis. It shouldn't be a big deal. Why are you teaching people to be things other than themselves? Like, listen, we're, we're trying to be our best selves. We're always gonna be changing, evolving, upgrading to be our best selves. And I'm just gonna say this, it's lame to be sitting, sitting there sending a bunch of emojis. It's just lame, it's just not cool. It's kind of weird, it's kind of strange, right? And of course, I'm gonna give you all the tips I can to make you so you're cooler and not lame, and it's lame to be sending lots of emojis. Yo, know, maybe you'll send one once in a while, it could be like a wink face or a smile face, like every once in a while, it's not the worst thing in the world, but just don't overdo it. It's just kind of strange, like, why are you doing that when texting should be used to either just talk normally or have a very short conversation? And why are you doing that anyways when you should be more focused on getting them to meet up? So it's a waste of time. It's kind of lame to be doing that. And if that's someone that is you, I'm sorry, I'm calling you out. Don't be lame, okay? Don't be sending lots of emojis and every single time you're ever, it's like too much, it's like overkill. Like every text you're sending, you're sending another new emoji. And also it's showing way too much interest, which you don't want to, because that can come off needy. So just try to chill a little bit on the emojis. Here's another one, and this is from another, another lesson from a client I've been working with. And it's interesting because I realized, wow, I have not been specific enough when I talk about texting. I'm assuming that when I'm ever talking about texting and helping you out, that you understand that we're talking about texting on a, on a phone, okay? Like meaning phone to phone, like SMS, like number to number, meaning not social media. So every time I've ever talked about texting, I'm talking about texting their phone number, not texting through Facebook or WhatsApp or Skype or, I don't know, Facebook, I already said that, I think, Instagram, right, none of that stuff. What's most important, and this is the fifth rule, okay, in terms of texting, is try to get their number. That's the most personal space that you could be in in terms of connecting with the girl digitally. It's in their actual text messages, not social media, not anywhere else. So you don't wanna be one of the, you know, who knows how many other men who are messaging them on Snapchat, that's the other one, on social media, Facebook, all that stuff. Instead, get to their actual texting. Now, I, I'm gonna say, I did say WhatsApp earlier. I know that is more about texting, uh, you know, and sometimes you have to WhatsApp because you have different phone numbers from different countries, but it's still re really rare. So try still as much as you can to get into the regular text messages so they see it, so they're there. So it almost kind of makes you more of a personal friend, at least for now, because you guys are not, you know, more than that at this point. So make sure that whatever you're doing in terms of texting, always move it to phone numbers. So I talked about this in my host program, right? Dominance, right? Always leading the interaction and moving it forward. Well, you want to make sure you're moving it forward from wherever you met them online or maybe maybe social media um, and, or in person right all that's gonna boop funneled into boom with their phone number and texting them on their phone again if you want to learn more about dominance and and how to lead the interaction you can check out my hooked program at getterhook.com I put a link in the description down below so you can you can check that out but there you go five rules of texting follow those and you'll be on the right path don't make any more mistakes like my clients have and like many guys have so hope that helps and check out the hooked program for more and I'll see you on the next video.